Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to incorporate the AISC 360 Direct Analysis Method into your steel design workflow in RAM Structural System. According to Section C2 of the AISC 360, the required strength of your steel structure shall be determined using an elastic analysis that considers a second order analysis the consideration of initial system imperfections, and adjustments to the stiffness of members that are contributing to the stability of the structure. We will now turn our attention to our sample model in RAM structural system. And as you can see, I'm already in RAM frame. Now for the AISC 360 design specification, it would be the engineer's responsibility to ensure that the selection of options for P delta, notional loads, stiffness reduction factors were consistent with the requirements of the direct analysis method. To aid the engineer, we do provide a report in the RAM frame steel mode to ensure that all of these options have been selected appropriately. To access that report, let's go ahead and perform an analysis and design and review the information. After the analysis is complete, proceed to the steel mode where you're going to enter your steel design code, generate your load combinations, and then perform a member code check. Now that the design is complete, let's go ahead and review the AISC 360 Direct Analysis Validation Report. And this report can be found in the Reports menu bar area. Now this report is separated into several different sections. So let's go ahead and review some of the information. The first section we're going to see is whether or not a second order analysis was performed. This will include what you entered for your option in your P delta criteria that was specified in the RAM frame analysis mode. And it would also include the information for your B1 and B2 factors as applicable. Now for this particular model, we can see that my P delta analysis was performed in the RAM frame analysis mode and B2 factors were not applied. Had I applied both of these factors to consider P large delta, I would get information that both of them would not be required. If I failed to include either P large delta in some way or P small delta, then the program in red would indicate that information for me, and then it would be my responsibility to go back and make the necessary adjustments if I was required to do an AISC 360 direct analysis. In addition to that, the program is going to review my notional load information, and it's verifying that notional loads have been added. It did go ahead and check if notional loads need to be included in all load combinations or just your gravity load combinations. In the RAM frame steel mode, I did include my notional loads in just the gravity load combinations, and I can see from this report that this assumption was appropriate. Lastly, I'll be able to take a look at my reduced stiffness information. And what we're able to do is verify that the flexural stiffnesses were reduced and that the tau factor used in the analysis was 1.0. In addition to that, the axial stiffnesses were also reduced. Now, as I'm reviewing this validation report, I'm seeing that I've satisfied all of my code requirements and I don't need to make any adjustments. Again, if I did make some Again, if adjustments were needed, I would be able to see that information in red on this report, and then it would be my responsibility to go back and make adjustments as needed. 
At this point, this concludes our process for incorporating the direct analysis method into your RAM frame analysis and design of steel structures. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.